that camera's going still. All right, we've had a couple of camera issues. Wouldn't you know it? Out of the blue, don't believe it. Anyway, we were going to go and do some uh, distance testing, roll, rolling takeoff distance, takeoff rolling distance. Um, bitumen versus grass. And uh, unfortunately, the main camera, the one on the wing, ended up with a corrupted file just for that segment of my flight that day. Anyway, I'll let the guy in the I'll let the guy in the studio tell you all about it right now. We're pre-flighting to go to Bundaberg. Um, 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 that way we got done. Got the wings with close. CS. Go. Red line monitor. Go. Quality. Go. OSM. Go. ULA safety officer. Go. Range, weather, and clear to proceed. Go. See, this is the LD on channel one. LC, you have permission to launch. One. Hello and welcome to another video. I'm sure if you're an aviation nutcase like me or a pilot of some sort, you'll enjoy this one. This one's for everyone that takes off a plane and lands a plane. Because we're talking about rolling distance bitumen runway versus a grass runway long wet grass not too long but in this case so yeah well i thought i had it in the bag and we had a great day flying went to pacific haven had morning tea at brian's carried on to bundaberg for lunch but when i got back and loaded the files on the computer the file i really needed which is this one which demonstrates the takeoff distances was corrupted and that's why we're here now. Anyway, I've re-recorded it, all is good. And here we are in the studio to tell you what went wrong. The file was corrupted. So anyway, back to the airplane and we'll continue filming for the second time. We had a great day. I, can, I completed my rolling distance and we'll uh, give you some data, some details at the end of this video to compare grass versus bitumen. I did it two times on the bitumen and two times on the grass, just for a comparison to get an average. It was first thing in the morning, the wind was fairly benign, um, probably better on the second attempt than the first time I did it. So yeah, check out the results at the end of the video. And this applies to all aircraft. Taxis, uh, hangers to taxiway Bravo. Mirabar traffic. We got the mail plane in this morning as well, so he's going to be a factor. He's not going just yet either. He's going to go straight out, I'd say. It's sort of cloudy ish this morning. Got a southerly wind, it's probably 220 as it was forecast earlier. Well, as it was uh, showing earlier. Traffic Maryborough, Michael 6340 enters back tracks 17, Maryborough traffic. Yeah, we've got an extra mic off has exited the runway at uh, 17 threshold and will await the Air Commander for takeoff. Maribor traffic. Uh, thank you very much. We're going to 
wait for the wake turbulence to settle down a little bit. Give it another, I don't know, one minute, just to be sure. Mirabel traffic, Michael line 6340, enters lines up runway 17 for circuits. Mirabel traffic. No, I can enter, but I just won't take off for another half a minute. is rolling, but it was rolling the other day too. 30 seconds, we'll be clear. And we were going to take off from the beginning of the threshold. I've got to do four takeoffs. Now, lots of things determine your takeoff roll. And one is, of course, the wind direction, how strong the wind is. That's two. Tire pressures, surface, grass or bitumen, and whether or not the grass is long and wet or dry and short. There's probably a few more things, if you think of them, let me know. They're the main ones. And yeah, there's a minute, so. Traffic Mirabar, Michael Line 6340 is uh, rolling 1-7 for a circuit. Mirabar traffic. Let's go. Number one takeoff. Another thing that affects takeoff roll is air temperature, humidity, air density, density, altitude. Mirror on traffic, Mark 6340 is Avon 17 turning left crosswind to return 17 for another circuit. Mirror on traffic. Air temperature at this altitude now is 14 degrees Celsius. There is a bit of a uh, wind up here, I was told it could be 20 knots. Perfect Mary Barra, Mark Line 6340 is turning base. 17 for a full stop, and I'll be back tracking 17. Very much, Robert. Traffic, my client 6340 is uh, backtracking 17. Mirabar. Right, that's one of three takeoffs. Now you'll notice I hold the bar right out to the front for takeoff, and that will be for consistency on the bitumen and the grass. Just until we leave the ground, of course. Traffic Mary Barra, Michael Light 6340 lines up 17 for an immediate takeoff for another circuit. Maribel traffic. Cameras, cameras are rolling. Maribel traffic is ready to go. Rolling. Ready? Go. Ready. Perfect. Very well. Mark line six three four zero is turning crosswind to one seven. Uh, this time I'll be landing on one two. Very much traffic. Stop. 
with the cones and ready to go. And far out. Oh, she didn't want to get up, did she? Perfect, Mary Bar and Mark Line 6340, Zenibon 1 2, turning left crosswind for a full stop, 1 2, and a backtrack for another circuit, Mary Bar traffic. Okay, this is the last landing, the last takeoff, and then we're heading to Bundaberg. Check for traffic, always checking for traffic. Traffic, Marble Line 6340 is turning base, 1, 2, full stop, and a uh, backtrack, media takeoff, runway 1, 2, where about traffic? Departing the circuit from Maryborough, we went to Pacific Haven, um, and this is the first time. So, I will. The second time I filmed the video, I'm going to get confused. I'm sorry. The second time I filmed the video, I didn't go to Pacific Haven. We went straight to Bundaberg. Mind you, I didn't. Alrighty, it's us. I took a little bit of a detour and we went and had a look at some things and I'll put that up in another video. It's quite interesting actually, it was a beautiful morning to go flying. Anyway, in the first attempt to film this video, went to Pacific Haven, had morning tea with Brian and Kate and it was awesome. Uh, that was with David, myself, Brian, Kate and Gary from Harvey Bay in his RV6. Beautiful aircraft. We all continued after morning tea up to Bundaberg and had lunch and that was a great time, had a great morning. So then later that afternoon we all departed and flew back to Maryborough. Alright we're done with that, that's it. We have finished, we're on the way to Bundaberg but I'll now queue you up to watch the trip to Pacific Haven from the other day. That camera's still rolling, let's hope we've got a video this time. Pacific Haven, Monocline 634, to 10 miles southeast, 1500, this way circuit time, 06, Pacific Haven traffic. Pacific Haven traffic, Monocline 634, is joining downwind, runway 20, full stop, Pacific Haven traffic. Pacific Haven, Marvel Line 634, is turning base, 20, full stop, Pacific Haven, traffic.
Thank you. 